I hope you guys are all having an excellent day. Easy Auto Fix here, and today we're gonna learn the symptoms of a bad knock sensor. But first, I wanna thank Just Answer for sponsoring today's video. If you ever have issues with your car and need a quick solution, you need to check them out. Just Answer has verified auto mechanics that are available online 24 7. Simply go to Just Answer, write down your question, and you'll get connected to a mechanic in minutes. Besides mechanics, Just Answer has over 12,000 available experts in 700 different categories, including doctors, lawyers, tech support, vets, home repairs, and more. So if you want to save yourself money, time, and headaches, check out Just Answer in the description below. Now let's get back to the video. The purpose of the knock sensor is to send a signal to the ECM when it senses unwanted vibrations in the engine. For example, if there's an engine knock, which basically means there's an extra mini detonation after the spark plug ignites, the knock sensor will read this vibration, create an AC voltage, and send it to the ECM. Then the ECM will try to prevent this from happening again by retarding the ignition timing, or in other words, changing when the spark plug ignites the air-fuel mixture. This helps prevent serious damage to your engine. Now some cars have more than one knock sensor and the location varies from car to car. I've seen it underneath the intake manifold and in other situations on the lower side of the engine right above the starter. If you're having trouble finding it, I'll leave an excellent repair manual in the description below. The first symptom of a bad knock sensor is having your check engine light on. If the ECM senses something wrong with the knock sensor, these codes may pop up. To be able to scan for codes, you'll need an OBD2 scanner. I'll leave the one that I use and works for me in the description below. The second symptom is poor performance. You'll feel a lack of acceleration and your vehicle will overall be slower. A bad knock sensor reading can trick the ECM to believe that there's a detonation leading to the ECM changing the ignition timing when it's not needed. This causes poor combustion efficiency. In some situations, the ECM can purposely limit you to a certain speed to protect your vehicle if it senses the knock sensor is dysfunctional. The third symptom is poor fuel economy. Leading back to the previous example, since the combustion efficiency decreases when the ECM changes the ignition timing, this will result in poor gas mileage. The fourth symptom is a knocking noise. Some people describe it as a metallic noise when the engine is running. Since the purpose of the knock sensor is to detect unwanted detonations and relay this information to the ECM to change the ignition timing to fix the issue, if the sensor is failing, the ECM won't be able to know exactly when to change the ignition timing results in there to be unwanted detonations in the combustion process. Now before concluding you have a bad knock sensor, always make sure to look for torn wiring or corrosion on the connectors as these can cause similar symptoms. Now if you guys are experiencing other symptoms, make sure to check out the Auto Symptoms playlist and if you gained value from this video, please like and subscribe so I can see you in the next one.